Du, du, du. Hello everybody, Hawkeye019 here again. Today, we're going to get our farm up and running. Uh, simply just because I intend to actually move out from this base and do some exploring around the outskirts. So uh, we're just going to do this so we can get a, uh, a food supply up and running. Uh, I should probably make an infinite water source first though, right? You don't know how to do this. It's very simple. You just need three tiles and two water buckets and then you constantly take from the middle. Boop. It's not going to be a massive farm, so I don't think it really matters about the, the overall layout of it, but uh, let's see. Yeah. Stop it. Okay, I guess. I also want to talk about, uh, it's been a, uh, what the fuck, a really good, uh, week for, uh, for games last week, with the, uh, the announcement of, um, the new Civilization game coming out. That's doing that because there's no water nearby, but whatever. I'll remedy that in a bit. Yeah, well, there's an announcement of the, uh, the new Civilization game coming out. And also there was the uh, live streaming event of the swine flu, H1Z1, H1Z1, yeah, that's it, uh, which if you don't know what the actual term for that is, it's the, the code designation for the, uh, the swine flu disease. Um, so yeah, there was a, a special one hour, uh, bollocks, wrong one. Special one hour event for the live stream of that um, during the weekend. There, I didn't uh, watch it, but I read about it, um, uh, and it seems pretty baller. I do believe that it should still be on uh, the Twitch TV archives, hopefully. So you should be able to catch that there. If it is there, I'll uh, still I'll uh, I'll link it on. But they were just talking about the. If you don't know what the game is, it's basically like a persistent zombie survival game. Oh, I did have. Oh, I needed a craft table. That's why I came up here. It's going to be a persistent uh, zombie survival game, and it's done by SOE, which is the Sony Online Entertainment entertainment branch of the Sony division which is uh, responsible for obviously the PlayStation and uh, games like Planetside for example on the PC. Uh, Planetside is a great uh, example of games like they sort of, they sort of uh, can produce and um, they're actually using the Planetside engine for the game which you know a lot of people have played that. I've played it myself. I really enjoy playing it. It's a uh, pretty baller game. So they're using that engine for this zombie survival game, which you know from the game, if you've ever played it, that it can easily withstand several hundred people on the map at any one time. So you know that the, the engine that they're going to be using is more than capable of handling that, which is uh, good news. What they're wanting to do is have their own servers, as far as we're aware, and they're not going to be renting any servers out, and they're just going to have multiple servers for different locations, like EU West, EU East, etc. And um, they'll host them all, and they say they're going to be holding about 2,000 people at any one time, and the maps are massive, the vehicles, you know, it's, uh, you know, developers don't like their games being says you know, that's going to be similar to something, but it seems as if it's going to be, uh, bordering, uh, uh, Rust and DayZ in terms of how it plays. What if I do this? Five, yeah. 
So it's going to be in, uh, in between Rust and DayZ in terms of how the game actually plays. Um, just because you can build bases and everything else like that there, but you know, developers they don't like to say their games are like other games. They always want their game to be, you know, their own idea, their own original concept. But you know, it's 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 pretty plain to see. I need some torches down this side. They're gonna have vehicles. Everything they say is gonna be persistent. So one thing they were talking about is uh, they're wanting to build a sort of a Walking Dead style community of, of players. So you can obviously form friendships with certain players and you can go and, and build your base much like you would have in Rust and start your community that way there. But uh, also, you're obviously going to have bandits and stuff like that there. So you've seen the farm mechanic briefly in the video. So people, if you piss off the wrong people, they're going to come down and just torture base. And uh, that's going to be simple bad news bears. What do you what do you do when a bunch of bandits are coming at your base um, with fire? Do you try and hold them off and fight for your base? Or do you just try and sneak out the back door with as much goods as you can possibly carry and uh, run away? They're the options that this game's trying to instill and trying to push towards uh, players. You know, this is, in my opinion, it's kind of, hopefully, if they follow through on what they've, they're planning, you know, kind of like DayZ said they were planning, but you never never follow through. If they I can actually follow through with their promises of the game, it will be amazing. The one big thing is they're saying the game itself is going to be completely persistent so if you have a base in one place it's always going to be there on that server no matter what and you're going to build up these massive communities uh, filled with dozens of members which is just great that's that's all we wanted for days dead was to uh, to have this constant community where everybody's together and uh, you're working towards, say, a common goal. I'm gonna just whack this right down here. No, it's gonna kinda make people be a bit anal, but whatever. But you're all working towards a common goal of survival, and you know, it's up to other people to stop that if they want. Or, or get things the easy way, like killing you and taking your stuff. The gunplay for the game looks rather smooth, much like Planet Side, obviously. So that's where they're taking all the core mechanics of the game, and because Unlike DayZ, where they didn't really have a stable engine. I mean, if you're running off the arm engine, you're gonna have you're gonna have problems because the arm engine's terrible. It's a great engine, but it's just so buggy and so big. It just lags all the time. So yeah, with them running the Planet Side Two engine, it's perfectly stable, thankfully, and. Um, you'll just have a better game mechanics and if a game is stable from the get-go it's easy to iron out little bugs here and there which is which is you know as many of you probably know is that is the the problem behind DayZ at the minute the reason why it's not really working is because there's so many bugs in the game because there's so many bugs in the game like they fix one and it adds free so can't seem to get anywhere, make any progress. I'm gonna get a, a bit brazen here. And, uh, dig this out at night time. We'll see. See, the reason we're farming is because we're going to move out from this base and uh, try and find some villages. But I do want to make a sort of a spire and finish my base before we move out. So I need to get the materials for that, so I'm just going to mine out all this cobblestone here. So I can find my base easier when I'm coming back to it. Hopefully uh, I can find a few cows on the way. So we are in a savannah, so that is one of the places this horses is spawn. I have yet to see any though, but we'll see. Alright. Oh, this is a dead end, isn't it? Well, let's 
get some more cobble. Also, they had the announcement, or, uh, was that more? I'm not really sure if this was last week or anything, but the, they released more details about the, uh, the Division engine. That game looks amazing. I don't mind the fact that they've uh, more or less delayed it till next year, early next year, they say, they're starting to say now, or the, the rumour mill's kicking around. I honestly don't mind if games are delayed, as long as when they're released they're actually, you know, polished. If you delay a game and then release it and it's unfinished, it's terrible. But what's even worse than that is uh, releasing a game early, Battlefield 4, and the game being terrible. Because you, you just get nothing from that. You're going to get no credit or anything for the game. And hmm. SimCity's another one of that. You know, running theme here, EA. Um, so yeah, I, I I don't think people should get on the backs of uh, companies delaying games. Sometimes it's for the best. Huh. Whatever. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we can find a few guys and wrangle us up a horse. See, the main mission of moving out from this uh, this base is uh, just to try and maybe hit the desert region that's nearby, or hopefully try and find either one of the witches' huts, um, or find a group of villagers so I can get carrots and more potatoes from them so I can start growing them better. So I'm gonna need carrots and potatoes. Well, potatoes are just good food, obviously. And uh, gonna need carrots to to get the uh, the pigs that are all nearby, so I can actually start breeding them and get a farm going. Sometimes when I'm playing this, I actually forget that I'm playing on hardcore just because I'm not really. Well, it's now instilled mentally to not risk myself. I've gotten out of that habit of uh, being a little dwarf cave dweller and trying to find diamonds constantly now. I mean, I haven't even looked for diamonds yet, just because I know it's going to be treacherous. I've had two or three close, close calls already, so yeah, really trying to avoid that. Trying to avoid the death. Music by Pedro. Oh, I forgot to say, this is day nine. We're almost at the, uh, say I've survived more than this, but this is, uh, day nine of, uh, really recording. I don't really record the, uh, the parts where I'm just kind of standing around crafting. Fuck! Fuck! Thank God, it's not a venom spider. Or cave spiders are called. I was thinking of getting the uh, the map mod, but I decided against it. I'm just going to play by memory. Play the, the old school way, I guess. But uh, this is us in the day 10 now. Build the uh, spire over there and finish the house with uh, what supplies I got there. Have a lot of arrows there that I'll be taking with me. Let's uh, ground this up. So I'll need everything on my adventure. Unless I make it back in one piece. Always put your hose away, guys. So much sugar. So 
mature. Oh, yes. That's been a new patch for, uh, for Minecraft as well. I believe that was recent. Free on this? No, it takes two. Why am I being pinnick? Oh, okay, it does take three. Can I do that in one? Oh, nice. I thought I had to wait a day. Oh, bollocks. That's annoying. Whatever. Get them crops going. Not gonna bother planting anymore at the minute. Star slash spired on this side. Not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it. To be perfectly honest with you, I just uh, go out from here. stairs in here but whatever why uh, Notch didn't want stairs in the first place. There we go. Is this as tall as the highest? No, not yet. I don't think you can get up from there. That's marginally annoying. Nope. Fucking pickaxe! Stip it ho! Down there. God. Not having fun today. Oh, you kidding me? You kidding? Me. Whatever. How many stars do you have in our four? That's fine. Started watching the show Arrested Development from 2003. It is a uh, an older show. I think it was filmed primarily 2003 to 2005. About half, no, two thirds of the way through season one. Pretty awesome show. Really enjoying it. It's um, 
some of you may know it because uh, there was a, a Kickstarter to bring it back for a fourth season to which uh, Netflix, being as awesome as they are, happily obliged everybody and did bring it back. Whee! Um, I haven't fought this free. Whatever, side by stairs. Same height as the house. Just do the same sort of style. Uh, I hate my life. Boop. I'm actually going to continue up from here for another floor and then just have a uh, entire glass roof. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm not even going to bother putting glasses here. Do need more stairs though. It's a bummer. Whatever. fell off there. Right. Let's just expand this out a little bit. by seven top. There we go. Four, five, six. Boom! Just like that. Now I have this entirely filled with glass. Happy days. That should make it a little bit easier if I uh, come in from the north anyway. That's been the end of day 10 and 9. Not exactly something amazing happened today, but it's all about that preparation. See you next time.